Right, well, joining me now is Mark Jackson. And Mark, first of all, congratulations on the new job. But just how hard is it to be leaving Farsley Celtic? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big wrench to leave. Uh, you know, I've been there for many years now. I think it's eight years I've been there. So it's been a big part of my, uh, my playing career towards the end of it. And obviously, kind of the start of my coaching career as well. It's been... Uh, it's been a it's been a good time down there, but you know it, it's, it's time to move on now with this opportunity. Uh, you know, but I'll still be sad to leave. Of course, you've have experienced plenty of ups and downs during your time. Just how big a wrench is it to be leaving? You know, the fan base that you've had for so many years. Yeah, you know the, the fans have the fans have been fantastic down there. You know, and they've been through a lot over the years. You know, obviously with the, the club getting the promotion to the, the Blue Square Premier, uh, which it was back then. Uh, and then having obviously the relegation, and then the administration, and then the club folding, and then reforming. You know, so there's been a lot, a lot of ups and downs for the fans. Uh, you know, but to, to, to believe in them is, is upsetting as well. But you know, more importantly, you know the volunteers and everything what make a non-league club what it is. Uh, it'll be, I'll be sad to leave them. You know, I've made some some good friends down there, some friends for life down there. I'm not moving or anything like that. So I only live five minutes from the ground so obviously when I can you know I'll still I'll still support the club and go down and and help out when I can and of course it must be good to be leaving knowing that the the club has the restored name of Farsley Celtic yeah it was uh, it was it was a big uh, a big thing for the club getting the name back you know I, I know they were upset when when they had to they had to lose it but you know the the, the staff behind the scenes Josh Greaves John Palmer and the directors worked really really hard to try and make that happen you know and it's you know, when when a club gets it gets its kind of history back and its uh, identity back, it's it's fantastic. So, you know, leaving the club now, you know, is upsetting for me, uh, and it is a wrench to leave. But it's a new challenge for me to move on. And the, and the club's fine. The club's in great shape. You know, the league, league position might not say that at the moment, but the squad's strong. Uh, everything's in place as regards to the academy. You know, Neil's still there, uh, and what have you, and the other staff. So it's in it's in great shape, and you know, it's. Although people might say it might be a big loss, but you know, football moves on quickly. You know, and I, I, I'll be replaced, and uh, as long as I've made a positive impression over the years I've been there, then I'm happy with that, and uh, I'd like to think I have them. And I suppose that must be a relief that you're going to an, a new challenge, and yet you know that you're leaving the club in a safe pair of hands. Yeah, you know, Neil's still there, and all the staff are still there. Everything's the same. Uh, what we tried to build, especially with the academy, uh, linked in with Leeds City College, was kind of a foundation that if ever this did happen where I, I kind of moved on, then it'd still be there. Uh, you know, I, I probably, I was the main connection there between the uh, the college and the club, but th- that those foundations are now there where the next person who comes into my role can continue that on and hopefully the kind of the first team can benefit through uh, from the young players who are coming through at the academy and the college to obviously move on to the first team and that link will continue. So, you know, that, that's hard work from not just myself but other people as well at the college and, and the club. And, you know, I'm 100% sure that link and those foundations will be uh, will be there in the future. And I suppose when you first joined Farsley Celtic, you'd never have imagined staying for so long. No, I didn't. You know, I, I come as a player first and foremost. I did, I did come... Uh, straight out of the pro game and I was still playing uh, I was just starting on my coaching career then so you know I did little bits in the community and things like that uh, and it's kind of progressed there uh, stepping up with the academy setting all that up uh, you know whilst I worked through my badges to get the quali- qualifications I need to obviously go into the next level for me uh, which is going back into the going back into the professional game that's that's what I've always wanted you know I've never I've never hid that fact Uh that's what I want to do, you know, but there's a lot of hard work to get there and, and there's, there's even more hard work to try and stay in that environment. So, you know, my hard work starts now. And just looking back at some of the positive times you've had at Fars, if you were to pick out a couple of big games that you've been involved in, what would they be? Uh, well, there's been there's been so many, you know, when, when we're playing in the conference premier, uh, you know, travelling down to Torquay, you know, a hell of a journey for a, a, a part-time team. Uh, to go down there and, you know, we had an overnight stay and, you know, we won the game 1-0. Uh, fantastic result against a, you know, a massive team in 
not only non-league football but league football as well with uh, with, with, with Torquay United. Uh, you know, another game what springs to mind. What I've said as well is kind of the, the game in in the northeast counties. You know, we, we, we beat uh, we got beat by Parkgate uh, in a in a really important game, uh, which put them you know points ahead of us in the league with. I think it was maybe three games in hand or something like that, you know. And I remember those celebrations, what the Parkgate players were doing in the dressing rooms, and it, the realization of of where we were and what we needed to do as a group of players to achieve our goal kind of sunk in at that moment, and we realized that we had to go and win every game. And I think after that, we went on a, a 22 game or a 23 game unbeaten run to win the league. Uh, but that that kind of that moment was a realization of hang on a sec, if we don't. If we don't sort this out now and go on that run, then it'll all be over. Uh, so that was a, a big, big moment for myself and also the players in the club involved at that time. And now you're leaving. Has it sunk in yet that it is your final day at the club? Uh, yeah, well, my, my, my last yeah, my last game was uh, was against Shaw Lane. Uh, and no, it, it hasn't really. It hasn't. Uh, you know, I'll be going down to watch the game against Scarborough in the next game. I'll go down and watch that. You know, and you know, you know, I've already speak to Neil all the time, who, who's not only been a colleague, but he's, he's, a, he's a personal friend of mine. You know, and helping him out and, and speaking about the team on Saturday, uh, because you know, I'm, I, I want the team to get out of the position they're in in the league, which I'm sure they will. Uh, so, you, you know, it's, it's it's not sunk in yet, uh, but I'm sure it will be soon. Probably maybe on Saturday when I'm I'm not standing on the sideline, but I'm. I'm sitting in the stand, maybe next to John Palmer, and watching the game. And looking, you've said there at the potential. Just at how high do you think this squad can go? Yeah, you know, it's, it's been it's been so frustrating this year uh, with the squad of players we've got, and even the performances to some extent. Uh, myself and Neil have been scratching our heads as, as regards to what's going wrong, and you try and dissect games, and sometimes you can't you can't put your finger on it. It's just it's just one of those times where it's not going for us. But the potential of the squad is massive. I said that to the players uh, when I spoke to them after the, after the game, and I said it's not me saying this because I'm leaving and I want to I want to try and fill you full of confidence. It's me speaking from the heart and saying the truth that you know the group of players what they've got there is fantastic. Uh, it's just about them having that belief, you know, a little bit of luck as well because I think that's important. Uh, having that belief, uh, and I'm, I'm sure once they once they get a couple of wins together, back to back wins together. They'll just kick on and and, and and they'll move quickly at the table. Where that can take them this year, who knows? You've just got to really focus on that and get, getting them a couple of results back to back and then, then we'll see what happens. And it must have been a great feeling while you've been at the club, seeing players develop and go from being youngsters to getting into the first team and then progressing. Yeah, you know, you look at the team now, you look like players like Tom Taylor, Kyle Hancock, Jake Lofthouse, uh, Josh Grant. Uh, James Sutcliffe in, in seasons gone by are all players who, who, who have come through the academy system and uh, are doing well for Farsley now. So it, it shows it works. You know, the, the players have come through, they've been, whether they've been let go from, from professional clubs at 16 and wanting to continue the football. You know, the, the, the club is a, is a great environment for young players to kind of showcase their talents. And ultimately, yeah, we want to bring young players on where they can, you know, play in the first team, and then, you know, if, if they can move on higher, fantastic. That's what we, that's what we try to encourage at the club. That we want to move players on higher. If they can travel with us on our journey through the leagues and and the, and the club's journey with the, through, through the leagues, and fantastic. But you know, if they can if they can better themselves and we can be part of that, then that's what we're trying to achieve. And just how much are you looking forward to your new job? Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's like I say, it's it's, it's a. It's the right opportunity for me at the right time in, in my career. Uh, I'm looking forward to going back to a club where uh, I, I started my professional career uh, under a man who, who who brought me through at the club. Uh, so, really, really looking forward to it. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a challenge for me, which but a challenge which I need at this this point in my in my career, my development. And there's no better place to be going than. You know, a club where you've you've, you've been there and, and, and kind of come through the ranks yourself. So, I'll be going there, you know, willing to learn and and and, and kind of take my skills, what I've learned over the years. You know, developing myself as a coach and, and try and take them with me up there. And 
and hopefully that they'll be able to benefit the players I'll be working with.